What's up everybody? And I'm back with a brand new video today. So basically as as I said yesterday that I'm gonna <clears throat> make a video on how I did my Twitch panels and um just what I've been doing <laughs> without internet these two days that passed, right? So uh as you can see right now, I didn't bullshit. So uh, as you can see right now on the right side of my monitor uh, you will see that uh, it's like a little sign and it has an error an error um, message it's not an error message but it, an error icon so that does that means that I, I didn't have any internet by then so um what I did is uh, I went downstairs it was like a normal day right I went downstairs it was quite boring to make myself some tea right I made it I went upstairs got some notes. Um, as you might know, I got like green uh, notes, square sheets. So I got them, and I started just drawing. I just, I just started drawing uh, on on them, and <clears throat> that's how I, that's how I become with an idea to make myself a Twitch panel. So as you can see right now, this is the first first page of the square sheet that I made. Basically, you know, I did uh, like a sample, and then so. I, it's easier for me to make uh, something in Photoshop when I see it on the paper. So when I draw it, because I can't really, you know, if I go on the Photoshop just straight away, I kind of get messed up with ideas and, you know, it's just completely random. But that's what I got. This is the back side. And uh, yeah, and, and just right now you can see that it's running really s quickly. The video is running really quickly because uh, I speed it up. My old video took about one hour to uh, basically made all of them. So as you can see right now, I'm, I'm actually using uh, um, what's it called? You know, point to point, and you make a shape basically. And then yeah, I just started to uh, trying to become like you know better with ideas. And at the point when it comes to uh, overlaying like shape on shape I had something that needs to be fixed so like uh, straightness so you can see right now I took the direction tool and try to straighten down on the bottom so it looks nice and nice and cool uh, what else um, this has been it for the twitch panels and uh, what I'm gonna do now is actually make right now myself um, I'm gonna make myself a new background so if I go on Twitch channel right now on my t Twitch channel if I go right now I'll, you will be able to see that I don't have the background right here I don't have it so if you scroll this I don't have it it's just the Twitch logos that's it so we need to make this one and what I've been planning to do is actually Google the CSGO wall paper where the guy is holding a marble fade flip knife and you might know that from my outros but yeah we're gonna take him and it's gonna be a quick background um, let me just try to find them that there he is press view image let it load when it's loaded, free download. Oh, don't, that's that's an advertisement. We don't need that. We just right click, save image to the desktop, save. That's it. Then right click on the on the picture, open with Adobe Photoshop CS6, and let's wait till it's loaded. So when it's loaded, uh, you have a picture that we need right and what i've been planning to do as you can see right now on the screen i uh, took a picture as well because i had to draw that one as well so um what we're gonna do now is first of all uh, make a text and what i'm thinking to do is add a, a, like around him a line so it's like an outer glow you know what i mean so um Let's add the text first, and uh, what we what we have is enjoy, enjoy the 
enjoy there and then we're gonna use this let's use this as a marble fade what do you think guys let's leave it as a white then we're gonna put it over here make increase the font just like this put it over here um, make another one just duplicate it so uh, choose the text tool press on it again and put the stream enjoy the stream exclamation mark tick and put it straight over here and um, let's choose both of them and let's see if that would be possible to put it over here let's use this just leave it over here what we're gonna do now is uh, make a st stroke as well we're gonna use the stroke let's say three maybe two uh, let's say two let's use the drop shadow as well and that's it and for another one the same thing stroke on two and drop shadow that's it so now uh, we need to go Google again and what we need is marble fade marble fade wallpaper I think that's what yes yes that's the one and we need one of those view image again save an image as and save it on your desktop then what we need to do close all the tabs file open find the picture that you saved there it is and then what what you need to do is just drag it right because it's not dragging to oh it, it is so um you need to put a top of all the text that you did uh put a little bit you know smaller than that and then make sure that all the letters behind the background then tick and then what we do is the trick right create a clip create a um, what's it called clipping mask then what we do is to make it stay in the one place you need to duplicate the layer and just drag it uh, above enjoy there and just put the create clipping mask again and there we go there we go we have it um, this is like a <laughs> little tutorial for you, but if you still, you know, if you still enjoy it, make sure to like. You might be also um, hear that I speak like, you know, differently because I'm quite ill, guys. I've got a flu and yeah, I got cold and stuff, you know, so, but uh, it's for, you know, it's not that important. Important it is that today uh, I'm actually streaming for you guys so don't uh, make sure to stay tuned for that it's today um, I'm hoping that I will start it from 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock I'm just gonna keep streaming till 12 or maybe 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 you know maybe even uh, late I don't know then what do we have then we have like a social links not social links but social media um, like uh, pictures right so um, the thing is that when you scroll up upwards right right here you can see that my picture is really small but when you scroll upwards the picture becomes a little bit bigger so we need to, so we don't need um, any issues with our you know social media uh, pictures that will be behind this picture so it needs to be like somewhere over here so what we have to do is just try to take some space over here and try to put it over here or maybe even just like you know one picture here one picture here and one picture here that would be fine or just around the whole picture so uh, we need to open I do have these images that we need I go to my uh, GFX pack and uh, we try to find it right now um, if you, if I go I want to keep it like clear right I want to keep it clear and I want to make it similar to my YouTube banner so as you can see right now there is a YouTube you know all the social media logos over there so I want to make it similar so I need to find the same ones that I want and they should be 
they should be in some of these but I can't really remember I can't really remember <coughs> Oi. god damn it um, they should be in one of those folders right at the bottom or guys what do you think if we put something like this that looks cool that looks cool actually wait if if we have everything we need we need facebook that's right facebook so which is facebook youtube uh twitter we already posted um reddit let's say reddit because i've got reddit and that's it that's all we need and then we just need to drag it on here you know and we'll see how it goes so let's make it cool right let's make it cool we need we need we can scramble them anywhere we want and just you know turn around how we want as well so if we just i want to i want to create a folder right i want to i'm, I'm going to create a folder social media social media choose all these four pictures put it at the top unlink it and we'll see now what we can do so we're gonna put this over here then YouTube YouTube um, we're gonna swing around and put it over here which is kind of cool and Twitter for the last one we're gonna swing it around again and just put it oh yeah damn it put it over here that's all right that seems to be all right or we can just uh, put them in you know one place let's um, let's actually do that because I wanna it's not really I don't know but if if you like it that way you could just do it that way but um, hmm now I don't like it <laughs> what I want to do but uh, then we're gonna keep it like this as we did we're gonna keep it and um, maybe we'll um, we, ne we need some blending options right that's the Facebook so we're gonna use only job shadows use only job shadows because it seems to be cool um, only job shadows that's it so um, as we as I wanted uh, like an extra stuff that I wanted to do is to um, make this guy glow right so what we need to do is take a tool which called pen tool and just quickly I'm gonna speed up this video guys so you don't get bored so I will uh, right now select all the corners and I'll talk to you when I'm done So, I just finished uh, selecting this dude and uh, what you have to do after when you select it, you all connect it. You have to, uh, on the pen tool, you have to right click it and uh, just make a selection. And after that, you have to choose the background and uh, choose this square you know, icon, which is rectangular monk tool. And then right click again and layer via copy. I think that's how it's called. So we have right now, we have a separate man, as you can see. So I'm just gonna undo this. And um, what we have to do is if we want to make a glow around him and maybe over here inside, we have to, we have to um, select again and do the same step, step by step and just, you know, make 
him glow inside as well. So I'm just gonna quickly do this. It's not gonna take long. As you can see, I'm already halfway through, and um, it might be seems to be easy. Maybe not, but first time when I learned this, it was quite hard, guys. It was quite hard to um, learn how to properly Photoshop. Uh, or just make it thumbnails or pictures that you want because it, it is actually hard you just need to learn it you know so I'm just gonna quickly I'm already halfway through nearly done so I'm just gonna quickly you know go around this blade that's right so um, guys don't forget uh, I'm streaming tonight, so don't miss out. I got all my Twitch alerts, so I'm just going to show you right now after I've done this. I'm just going to show you my all Twitch alerts, so don't miss out the, the stream tonight. We will have some fun, and um, I've got some money to open cases. So make sure to stay tuned for that as well. Um, so as you can see, I selected. There is like a line, a shape. So you need to right click it on it and make a selection. Okay. Then press this tool, right click again and layer via copy. So what we need to do now is uh, basically, uh, one second, um, I think we have to uh, delete, that's what we need to do. We need to, right, when you select it, because I just don't do it, the, the progress right now, um, when you select it you have to make a selection. That's that's the first thing, but the second thing you don't have to lay a copy. You just need to press backscape or whatever you call it, delete. You know what I mean. So it's it should be already deleted by now. So what we're gonna do now is press once on the picture, and we'll see how it goes right now. Just make a blending options. Twenty. No, let's say ten. Size fifty. There we go. So I'm just gonna leave this one as it is right now, and it's good for me. It's it's good. So I need to um, save right now. So I need to file, save as on desktop, which is JPEG again. If we wanna replace it, yes, please. Close this, and there we have our picture. I'm gonna test follow alert, and this is what guys I set it up. This is what I set it up. Oh, wait, I cannot show you, actually. I can't show you because it's on other scene. But you will see it tonight. You will see it tonight, guys. I promise you. But yeah, guys. I'm uh, just gonna finish my video right now. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, share the video, and don't forget that I'm gonna stream tonight. And probably next days, too. So don't miss out that. Make sure that you follow me on Twitch because uh, it's sh supposed to show you the notification on your phone or, you know, on your PC while you on it. So yeah, as always, stay cool, have a great day, and I'll see you guys on stream. Peace. No, 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 no.